Hey yo, what's up my little coders? Let me show you in this tutorial how to solve the little question 872. Leave similar trees. Basically, we are given two binary trees. And the only thing about which we care is the is the binary trees leaves. So we need to return true if the leaf values of these two binary trees are the same and they're in the same order. Here we have like six, seven, four, nine, eight, and again. In the second binary tree, we also have six, seven, four, nine, eight. In this case, we return true. If the leaf values are not the same, or they are the same but they are not in the same order, we return false. This is basically what we need to do. Let's do it. So first of all, let's declare two array lists. We will use the first array list to store the leaves uh, of the first binary tree, and the second one to store the leaves of the second binary tree. So in the end, we will be able to compare. Uh, these two are lists and we will check if they're equal in case if they are we will return true if k in case if they are not of course we'll return false Okay, once the array lists have been declared We can basically start traversing through the trees. We can use the algorithm to traverse through the tree Which is called the deep first search algorithm. So for those of you who don't know this is the algorithm which we should definitely want to learn because it's, it's like one of the most popular algorithms. It basically starts at the root node and explores as far as possible along each branch before backtracking. Let me just declare the method first of all. So guys, we will, we will traverse through the binary trees for the first binary tree and for the second binary tree. Deep first search again, right? It will be a recursive algorithm. And when you write a recursive algorithm, always um, the best start is to, it will be to think about the base case. What is the base case? And as usually it is, the base case is when the root is equal to null. In this case, you just want to return straight away. Because if it's null, it means that you cannot extract any leaf values, you cannot do anything. So that's our base base case. Then let's think. Let's just consider the smallest um, binary tree with just one value, so just with the root. When we reach this value, it means that like it doesn't have the <clears throat> left child and it doesn't have the right child, so you cannot expand anymore, you cannot traverse. And it also means that you found the leaf value. So, and if it's the case, you just want to extract it, right? This is what you want to do. Oh, let's extract the leaf if you, if you find it. If root left is now and root right is also equal to now, we just add it to our array list. If not, we will need to do, go further and traverse until we reach the, the leaf value. And if it's the deep first search algorithm, first of all, you want to go to the left side. So we will need to do a recursive call, first of all. We will need to traverse as much as possible. Root.left. Right now, think about it, right? If we consider this binary tree, we start at tree, right? Tree is not equal to now, and this root right now has the left and the right value. We will go here, and we will go to the left side. We will go to the 5. We will do the same thing again, and we will go to the 6 after that. So we will reach the first leaf value. 6 will not be equal to now, but 6 will not have the root dot left, and we will not have the root dot right. So we will add value 6 to our array list. But after that, if we will call, after this if statement, if we will call this method again, we will just reach the, the save statement and we will terminate. After that, right, we will need to basically go to the right side. Which will mean that like if you start with 3, we go to the 5, we extract 6, then you know recursion, 2, 7, 4, and basically we will traverse through the whole binary tree and we'll extract all the leaf values. This is the deep first search algorithm. And once we have traversed through the both binary trees, in the end, we can just simply compare if the array lists in which we have stored the values 
are the same or not. Okay, I see one typo. Okay, should be fine now. Let's run the code to see if it works. And it does. Let's submit, guys. Perfect, guys, 100%. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I hope it makes sense and it was clear. Um, thanks for watching. Remember that lead code a day keeps unemployment away, so make sure you do lead code and practice your skills. This is a very nice problem. Then, yeah, that's it, guys. I will see you next video, guys. Good luck and take care.